It's a major movie blunder exposed by News 13's Larry Barker, a blockbuster film that tells the story of a Navy SEAL in Afghanistan has been the center of another battle right here in New Mexico. Now the Hollywood production company is paying for a big mistake. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is here with more. The movie makers used land here in New Mexico to film and they paid thousands for it. The problem is they paid the wrong man. For battle scenes in the movie Lone Survivor, filmmakers paid this man thousands of dollars to build a movie set on land in Chile Lee. But as Larry Barker reported in a News 13 investigation in 2013, Juan Sanchez, president of the Chile Lee land grant, doesn't own the property. In fact, this man, Patrick Elwell, does, and he didn't see a dime. He's been in the family over 100 years. Filmmakers built an Afghan village on Elwell's land without telling him. Larry Barker found Sanchez duped the movie's production company out of $35,000 in rental fees. We've been in federal court. I had to prove that I was the owner. The film company got duped. Uh, yes. And a court agreed. Now the Hollywood production company has agreed to pay Elwell the $35,000 for rental fees. I'm happy with the result. I mean, uh, attorney fees ate up probably three quarters of that, but that the whole thing here at the beginning was uh, establishing that I was the owner. Movie makers say they were led to believe the old Chile Lee land grant owned the property. Anybody that has a deed within the Chile Lee land grant doesn't have the ownership of the land. Sanchez argued property in the grant didn't belong to Elwell, but the New Mexico Supreme Court ruled against the claim. Now movie makers are suing Sanchez, saying he misled them. Basically, he's tried to bully his way through all this. Elwell says the 35 grand doesn't come close to paying for damages done to his property during filmmaking. Grass isn't growing at all because it was so many trucks and things were on that property. But rather than lose more money in court, Elwell says setting a precedent for property owners with his case is good enough. I'd like to see more films made here, but let's do it right and let's protect the landowners and property owners who pay taxes. Elwell told us he still hasn't seen Lone Survivor. He says he's gotten an estimate and it'll take nearly $200,000 to restore his land back to what it was. Back to you. All right, Gabby, thank you. The battle between the Chile land grant and the production company continues in court. A federal judge will decide whether the Chile land grant should pay back the filmmakers for those rental fees.